All right, you're a Christian. How do you know you're a Christian? Yeah, maybe your mom or your dad were a Christian. Maybe your grandma or grandpa were a Christian. Heck, you probably don't even go to church. You probably never even opened a Bible. Do you even own a Bible? You call yourself a Christian based on the values of a relative. But are you a Christian? Are you walking daily with Christ? Are you seeking daily the Father? Are you spending time in your prayer closet? Are you stepping closer? Are you leaning in to the Father? You know, the Bible says, as you lean in, the Father leans in to you. Are you asking Jesus to purify your heart and your soul? Are you asking Jesus to come live in you every day? Are you asking the Father to guide you every day? Or is being a Christian just something you do for 45 minutes on a Sunday morning? If God is the almighty, all-powerful, all-everything, and Christ is his Son and you are a Christian, Christ is of the Father as you are as well and being the almighty all powerful all everything do you think he commands more time than just that 40 minutes on Sunday this is if you do go to church yes if God is what you claim to be by saying you're a Christian creator of all things, the giver of all things, then don't you think he's worth more than a few minutes on a Sunday? Don't you think it's worth spending time with him on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, on on and on and on? Don't you think that God deserves your attention seven days a week every day of the month every month of the year every year of your life don't you think the Father deserves your time every day of your life every day of your life is given to you by the Father yet you have no prayer closet Yet you spend no time with him. Yet you don't know what his word says. Yet you don't know his message. You've never read his letter to you. You don't know his desires. You don't know his will. You're too wrapped up, too concerned with you. The me, 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 me. The I. What does the Father want? He sure doesn't want you to only devote 40 minutes a week on one Sunday morning if you even give that most Christians I know don't even give that they don't even make the effort the only time father comes into their life is when hardship comes and then they're praying for help oh please help me and as soon as they're over that obstacle as soon as they're past that obstacle father who? they forget all about him now, I've been guilty of this myself but I didn't call myself a Christian. I was wrapped up in the New Age for over 30 years. But when I turned to the Father, I asked the Father to be closer. I asked the Father to increase my desire. I asked the Father to show me more. I asked the Father to teach me more. I asked the Father to be with me daily. I asked the Father to increase my desire. I asked the Father to show me and guide me I asked the Father for everything, to answer my questions, to teach me, to spend time with me every day. And what the Father showed me is that He is here for me every single day, seven days a week when I reach out to the Father, He's here. In fact, He never leaves. The Father is always here. He's always wanting communication. He's always wanting interaction he's always wanting to show you how much he loves you always and it's you 
dear Christian, it's you. Lukewarm Christian, it's you. Cold Christian, that chooses to tune him out. See, Father loves you so much. He made you so powerful, you could resist God. And in ignorance, that's just what you do. You resist God. You turn away from God. You walk away from God. You ignore God. That's not what Father wants. Father wants you to experience His blessings. Father wants you to know His love. Father wants you to live out the life that He has written of you in the books in heaven. Father wants you to do His will. We're as children, we're as little bitty children on this earth. And we let our ego and our arrogance tell us otherwise. Tell us that we're almighty and we have these tremendous minds and, and we lean on science which changes its mind every couple years, changes its formulas, changes its findings because science is malleable science is not perfect like we've been led to believe but we fall on it as truth we rely on our intellect and instead we're ignorant father knows a better way for you and for me and for all of us Father sees all things and knows all things. We're as children. Now you Christians that are parents, when your child would when your child would buck, when your child would not listen to you, and you tell them, Don't touch that stove, it's hot. And they insisted that they knew better, or their curiosity led them to touch it and guess what they got burned. But you already knew it. You already knew it was hot they didn't because you could see things that they couldn't when you tell your children things to keep them safe it's because you're aware of the dangers when you tell your children things to keep them out of harm's way it's because you know the potentials for them to be harmed it's the same with our own arrogance with our own ego with our own uh, mental abilities we want to rely on our own beliefs we want to rely on our own experiences we want to rely on our own knowledge and father says I know better trust in me lean on me give it to me rely on me and in our arrogance and in our childlike mindset we rebel we turn away from we turn our back to the very father that gave us breath that gave us our life and we tell him that we know better when in fact we're on this earth walking around as little children dumb and ignorant to what's really going on dumb and ignorant to a better way dumb and ignorant to the father's way to be in alignment with God's will, we need to surrender our will and give it to God. Give it to God. Forget what our emotions say. Everything today tells you, oh, do it if it feels good. Do what you want to do. Um, there's all kinds of courses out there telling you how to achieve your dreams, how to achieve your goals, how to get in life what you want. And that's this life that they're referring to. Every self-help book out there tells you how to get what you want, how to achieve your desires. But all his Father wants is for you to trust in Him. To put those things to the side, those childish things to the side. Stop putting up treasures on earth. Stop chasing your will and surrender it to the Father because like the 1950s TV show Father Knows Best he can see the bigger picture